Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, draw uh, dreadlocks. Do this. It kind of gets uh, for me. I do about three different layers uh, for just the hair because um, the first layer isn't really to give me like a, a perfect, um, a perfect uh, shape. The first layer is kind of like just give me uh, the lines to work within. Now I don't know what you know. So with that, I'm gonna go in. I I mean you just kind of work with it. You know, it's not gonna be like once you touch it, you're like, ooh, this is amazing. Everybody makes mistakes. And this is my first time so I'm kind of like all over the place but basically now I'm trying to draw the outlines again okay the outlines I'm trying to draw all that again so that I don't know why my hands are wobbly because I'm recording but I mean nobody So. Alright, so basically, we're doing the lines, and bear in mind that the hair isn't like straight. I've already done the lines in there, so I kind of get to see where I'm supposed to go with it. But then, if you haven't done the lines, uh, for me, sometimes it is easier sometimes it is not depending on what it is i'm actually trying to draw because sometimes when you have the lines already um it kind of it kind of makes things easier because then you know exactly where you're going and for me photoshop is kind of hard to draw perfect lines unlike in illustrator so i personally do my line work in illustrator because it's quick and it's clean like it's clean it, it's easily clean um, with Photoshop if I want to clean something trust me I, I really can't draw a perfect straight line unless of course I use a pen tool or something so so now that I have my um, outlines done for each and every strand of hair I'm trying to um, paint so just like that I mean I can go over as much as I want and um, it's really up to you whatever you want to do just like this i mean you can tell them trying to draw braids okay though these are actually locks if they were braids i would have gone um, messy on the like the the edge will have to be something like that like i don't know it will have to be like that i can i can do um straight like that if i'm doing regular braids so since I'm drawing locks, I'm gonna go with that. Now, here's where it gets extremely, um, people say it's difficult, but for me, that's how I get my detail. Not having my, um, but actually, this is okay to me. I'm gonna go for each and every one of it. Now, it may be a lot of work, you may be thinking. Ooh, this but if you're using a pen um, think of it as I, um, I say this all the time if you spend much more time on um, the little things it ends up being a bigger like um, a bigger change than trying to rush with lady I used to do um, quick you know um, suggestive work and that's fine too but if you want to achieve details you're going to have to take your time and do it it's not going to come that simple so if i go fit screen you see i'm already drawing it out and it's not going to be this um you know this obvious because i can just go like that and then it becomes you know depending on how much i want it to be and i can also change the color depending on what i want to do so i like that about um photoshop so um there all the way down and all the way down now um 
this uh, kind of method it takes a while I won't be like it takes a while but um, because I'm kind of used to drawing hair I'm kind of like yeah it's okay now actually my light source is from this side of her face you can see that this is where the light source is coming from so it's from this direction and so basically if I'm gonna do it on this side it has to be on the edge facing the light if you get what I mean now um, most of the time uh, you forget these principles and then you finish the work and then you realize that okay the way it doesn't look that great I forget them sometimes sometimes I get so obsessed with doing makeup on an invisible um, an imaginative character that I forget that <laughs> at the end of the day I have already done maybe um, shading for one particular thing somewhere and then I'm kind of doing um, something completely different but other than that I think uh, either way it works now once we are done doing this part I'm going to show you something that will make um, it stand out there are two things you could do you could either use the bend tool to bend the edges of these or you could also use um, an eraser now I, I am personally going to use an eraser especially for this particular type of thing and I'm going to just change the opacity of that Thank you. 